Okay, guys, we are going for number five. I think it's this one. So here we have number five. Hey, how exciting. <laughs> Skirting around. Baby face for the win here, helping me. Here is the pile of clothes. Hello, my lovely little foxy. I am interrupting your regularly scheduled broadcast for this very important message. You asked, I listened. The Hazelverse is now available on OnlyFans.com slash Hazelverse. So, if you have been waiting for me to share my sexy moments with you, the time has come. Showing what I can't show anywhere else, you can find exclusive videos, clips, pictures, and more at OnlyFans.com slash Hazelverse. So, join now. It's free! It's free to subscribe, so go ahead and do it. What are you waiting for? I do Thoughts of the Days, polls and other stuff for free so there's nothing to lose by joining onlyfans.com slash hazelverse now that i've gotten that very important message out of the way you can get back to your video enjoy hello my little foxies and welcome to the hazelverse here on your digital screen hello 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 my lovely little foxies and welcome to another hazelverse video i hope you guys are having a Fox-tastic day today, and I hope that this video helps your day seem a little bit better. Today, my little, little foxies, we are going to be doing another Shein haul. Stay tuned till the end for me to try them on. So, yeah, Babyface has already um, laid it all out for me, my little assistant today. Thank you so much, my love. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull at random. The first thing that we have is this screen, the screen. Uh, this green skirt, it makes me feel like, um, very, like, Slytherin vibes. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't this make you feel like that? Why is there, like, that one restaurant we went to, the Tilted Kilt? Oh, yeah, true. Like, if I was, was a server there. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> seven inches shorter. Well, that went from, like, cute academic vibes to, like, here's your burger vibes in, like, five seconds flat, but that's cool. No hate there. I really like this green skirt, and I can't wait to try it on and style it. We'll see. Um, it looks kind of... I don't know. We're going to see. We'll, we'll have to see how it looks on. <laughs> if you watch my other videos, you guys have already seen this skirt. This was in my birthday video. This holographic skirt. I really, really like it. I had to steam it before I wore it last time. And I'm going to have to steam it probably every single time I wear it. Because look how bad it crinkles. But it is really, really cute. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll link it up here if I remember. Okay, you guys. So this next item... <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you guys the picture. Oh yeah, I should leave time to show the pictures of things because obviously you should see how it looks, right? Like on the website. Anyway, so this is what this item looked like online. And uh, this is a very like uh, expectations versus reality item because like seriously, who is this for? Like you guys, whose vagina is all the way down here? Really? Maybe it's just because I don't have any boobs. So maybe it should be like, you know, like that. <laughs> but uh, you guys know how much I love things that are sheer slash see-through slash transparent. Here is just a cute little green top that is mesh with sparkles. And I bought it because I wanted it. So I got it. Very simple. Simple as that, my, my loves. <laughs> Another thing that I bought is this color block skirt. It's so cute. It reminds me of like the 70s, you know? And there's this really cute um, jacket that went with it that I had in my wish list for the longest time, but I don't know. At the end of the day, when I had it in my cart, I took it out because I just, I didn't want it that much, I guess. But I really did like this skirt. So yeah, I got it. It's got this cute little detail with the different shades of red and pink. Another cute skirt we've got is this pleated is it pleated? Yeah, it's pleated in the front. Corduroy skirt with these button details. These are, um, a lot of the buttons that you'll see in Shein are these type of marbled buttons. They aren't like the most expensive buttons in, on the planet, but I've seen some expensive items with this type of button. So, I mean, whatever, you know? Sometimes you don't get what you pay for. Sometimes you get more than what you pay for. So that's nice. Huh. Similar, but not the same. It's got this zipper detailing and no pleats on it. Just a straight skirt. And it has this zipper on the side. So <laughs> easy to get in to it. I can't wait to see how this fits on me. I have oh, high pocket or fake pockets? Oh, good question. Oh, they're fake pockets, not real pockets. <clears throat> not surprised by that though. I mean, yeah. That would cost too much to, for Shein to do that. At these prices, in this economy, huh? So this next item is something that I uh, was suggested 
two was suggested. How do I say that? Suggested to buy. Suggested to buy. Karina Wang, um, who is this really cool YouTuber and also has a really cute Instagram. Um, she suggested this item. It is this fleece um, lined set of leggings to wear under tights and skirts and stuff during the winter. I got the version with the hole on the bottom and the toe little thing because I don't like my feet to be completely covered. They don't have to be. I don't know. It's just like claustrophobic <laughs> for my feet. I don't know. Do you guys feel that way? Do, do you get claustrophobic in your clothes sometimes? I definitely do. Like if there's a jacket that I can't get off like fast enough, if I'm trying to take it off and it just like won't come off, I get really frustrated. I start going blue in the face. <laughs> this is one of her hats um, to wear in cute clothes during the cold seasons. Um, so yeah, I figured I would try it out. And honestly, it's really, really, really soft on the inside. I can see this being really warm. So Definitely can't wait to try this out. <laughs> Up next, we have this shirt. This shirt online seems really thin, but when I received it, it is this really thick fabric. That's in interesting to me because usually it's the other way around. Usually the fabric is thinner than what you would expect it to be. But yeah, I can't wait to try this on because it's not anything like I was expecting it to be. So I'm curious to see what it looks like. If you have been a little, little foxy for any length of time, then you guys have heard me say to be kind to yourselves and others and to stay foxy. So when I saw this on the Shein website, I had to have it. It says, be kind on it. It's so cute. And it is the softest fucking material, you guys. I just hope it stays this soft um, after, you know, it's been washed a few times. It's just like literally... This is like baby soft. Like this is like a baby's teddy bear soft and I love it. So I can't wait to wear this as well. This is um, a haul I've been really, really excited to share with you guys and I'm really excited that it's finally time to do that because um, obviously like these are items that I've been looking forward to trying on forever and I finally get to do that with you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, stay tuned to see me wear this. <laughs> Up next is this gingham shirt and it has this lettuce detailing on the top with this collar um situation here and it is just i mean it's really simple it's got this lettuce detailing at the bottom too um just lightly though not like super lettucey not super gathered at the bottom but it is seems it seems like it'd be cropped yeah so this is really cute can't wait to try this on. I <laughs> I need to find something else to say at the end because I feel like I say that after every item. I can't wait to try this on. Like, no fucking shit. I bought it, didn't I? I have a, another color block skirt, but instead of being um, that corduroy material, this is a pleather material, like a suede -ish material. Um, on the back, there is no color block. So unlike the other skirt, the other skirt's color block, it went all the way around. Um, and it just has this cool little pleather slash suede detailing and I really love that it's just fun and quirky and like but simple you know kind of understated and just like I'm here and I'm chill you know come smoke with me but light your own J because I'm not sharing because coronavirus <laughs> so we have this next this one seems a little bit more gathered than the last one if you guys can see there's a little bit more frill to the bottom so yeah and also the sleeves are lettuce Duh. We have a, another top with this pink one. This one is a longer top, although it still has the lettuce detailing on the sleeves and the bottom hem. But on the top, it is just this simple long turtleneck. This is the longest turtleneck I've seen so far in any item that I've hauled from Shein. So this will be really, really interesting to try on, especially with my hair. I hate trying stuff on with my hair done, although it's not really like, it's, it's not like in a ponytail, so it's not going to be as bad, but... Duh. I'll tr probably try this one last because it's going to get my hair all roughly. Anyway, there's this. So this skirt kind of bamboozled me, okay, because I thought I was getting a whole skirt. I did not get a whole skirt. I got a partial skirt with this one. It is open on the side and it's not like, you know, an overlapping situation. It's just open on the side. So I don't, how, there we go. <laughs> so here it is and this side is just like, like I said, just like, hello. I don't need anything, just let me go, let me be free. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna be that free, I don't think. <laughs> we'll see. Kind of tricked me. Um, you guys can see in the photo, let me know if this skirt would've tricked you too or if I'm just a stupid person. <laughs> I don't know, both are equally um, possible. <laughs> Someone smart is another person stupid. Next. <laughs> then we have a, another top little lettuce detailing at the top, the hem, and also on the sleeves. And it's got this waffle 
fabric as well. <laughs> so I got two athletic skirts. They look similar. They're obviously different. This one is straight and this one is a little bit flouncy for when I want to act as if I'm athletic. So that's the vibe with these. I wanted to try both of them to see which like style I liked better. We'll um, update. <laughs> we have another um, I almost call this a tube top. Another turtleneck shirt. This one is also a transparent mesh material and it has this, is this leopard or Dalmatian? It's definitely not Dalmatian, babe. Well, I, I know it's not white, but it's like, they're it's like solid Dalmatian. spots. Is that leopard or cheetah, maybe? Cheetah? Cheetah, maybe? I don't know, you guys tell me what pattern this is. Um, I thought it was leopard, but I don't, I don't think it is now that I'm looking at it. Another impossibly soft item is this sweater. It is, again, really baby soft, and it's just, I just, I love finding soft things on chain. It's almost like, it's like 50-50, but that's really whenever I find something that's like super soft, it's like a jackpot, and I'm just like, this is why I shop here, because it's just like a, a gem, a hidden gem. Not that most of the clothes aren't. I think they are actually pretty good quality for what you pay, but then sometimes when you find something like this, it's like, oh man, this is, I would have paid more for this, but I'm glad I didn't. You know that mood, like, I'm so glad I have this, I found this. That's how I feel about this. Duh, it's so soft, love it. This skirt, the order that this came in, this is the item that started that order. Do you know what I mean? You know how like you see something you're like, I want that, what else should I get? You know what I mean? To make this like a justifiable purchase or like, you know, make the shipping reasonable or whatever, like get the discount. So this is that item because it's just so like, I don't know, it, it just takes me back to a time before I was born, but just like a time where I feel like people were more creative with just like life and people were just, less basic and I really like that and uh, it's, a, it's a really inspiring style to me and it's purple so my new color is purple if you didn't know if you didn't get the memo um, and uh, yeah I just really really like it and can't wait to try this on just a, a skirt that I'm really inspired by so the last item of clothing before we go into accessories so uh, this shirt is really cute it is I think I tried this on I don't know if I wore it anywhere I don't think so but I, I know I tried it on um, and because I was really really curious about this tie thing it's really really cute I'm not gonna um pull the thing now I'm gonna do that when I try it on but I can't wait to show you guys how this looks on my body and how it can look on your body if you bought it not sponsored I wish but not yet so this is also this is a really really soft material and it is really really comfortable I really liked the way it felt when I had it on so yeah I can't wait to share this item with you all right, now moving on to the accessories. Okay, you guys, so uh, I got these masks. I think I showed you guys that masks in the last haul, um, uh, but that was like a blush variation. This is a purple variation, and uh, obviously the masks come with the matching scrunchie. That's why I'm holding this up, and I think this was a really good price. For these, I will say that these are not my favorite masks in the world. I really like them because if you buy like a whole bunch of different color variations then you have different things to go with any outfit and I like that they are this silk material um, uh, but I don't I don't know they don't really cut they don't stick to your face you know what I mean like the really real ones you can push them and they'll like form to your face they don't do that so there's a little bit of a gap and I worry about that sometimes but luckily I don't really leave the house like only if I'm going to Target or something like that's pretty much the only place I go anymore and it's like once a month if that but um, when I do go I really like wearing these even though I feel like they're not the best so maybe if you're extra paranoid wear like one of the i95 masks or whatever and put this on top um, there's some really cute other ones that I saw that I was thinking about doing that too or even just doubling this up under it that um, Sheen had they were like ones that went they had like handkerchief basically that went all the way down here and I really liked that you know more security but I feel like you'd have to double up that too because it's not a mask anyway so yeah I got these I also got this cute little heart belt with this pearl detailing so I want to show you these glasses I actually don't remember which pair of these are I'm kind of excited Oh, okay, so I love tortoiseshell glasses. They're kind of my, it's my favorite prints for eyewear or just like accessories. I don't know. I just like the tortoiseshell print. It kind of reminds me of the leopard print, but obviously it's not. Um, but it's in the same family, you know? Um, so I don't know what you would consider this because honestly it doesn't really scream tortoiseshell now to me. It, maybe it's like supposed to be like a leopard print or something, but it's really cute. Ooh, what do you guys think? Do you like them? I like them. <laughs> With the hair in my eye. That's extra fabulous, isn't it? What did you guys, what do you think about these? 
Alright. Oh, I forgot to have- oh, well, we can read them later when we try them on. Anyway, so that is this pair of glasses. And what I like about Shan is all their glasses come with a case and a little microfiber um, cloth that you can clean them with. I think that's really cool, especially for how inexpensive these glasses are. I really don't know how they can afford to send you everything, but I guess maybe I'm just naive to how much things actually cost to produce. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe are we, are we just generally always getting ripped off? And when we don't get ripped off, we just feel like it's a deal? I don't know, conspiracy theory. I have this pair of earrings that next. They just say yes on them. I thought they were just fun and very like vibey. So I got them. Um, I think these would be really cute with that color block skirt, the pink one. I just feel like it's very like 70s-ish vibe. I don't know, do I get my decades mixed up? Probably, I wasn't alive then so. Forgive me. <laughs> so uh, these, this set of earrings came with three pairs and it is this bow detail. They're a little bit bigger than I expected, but that's okay. Um, I don't feel like they'd be that much heavier than what I was expecting, but yeah, that is the size. I think they're really, really cute. <laughs> so if you don't have sensitive ears, I'd really check out Shein's um, uh, earrings because they're, they're pretty cost effective, I'd say. All right, so uh, you guys know how much I love leopards. So when I saw this, I definitely had to get it. It is this cute little leopard resting on this emerald type stone. The only thing I don't really like about this is the color of the gold. It's obviously really cheap and um, it's very, very yellowy. So I don't know, that's fine though, I'll get over it. It's not like something that's going to keep me from wearing it, but it does, it's very costume jewelry, but it's still cute. I mean, it's all right. I love wearing costumes. <laughs> So the last items that I have to show you is this set of rings and they are so interesting. I think this is the Alma symbol. I should just put them all on and then show you, huh? Huh? Okay, let's see if I can do this. So, <laughs> what? Why are you laughing at me? So you showed off those uh, rings there. <laughs> you like them? Ooh, fashion. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best idea. I'm just gonna try to show you. So these are the rings that I got. Can you guys see that these are, see little, little skulls? Do you see them? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> and here's the other hand of rings. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so uh, they're cute. I like them. We'll use. Excited. There are a lot of them. How many? So Babyface just counted how many rings that was, and there are 11 of them. So that's a pretty cool amount, I'd say. Like, obviously not every single one in that pack is going to be a winner, but there are a couple of really cool ones in there, so love that for me. All right, Babyface just reminded me I have shoes. We have two pairs of shoes for you guys. I think I'm going to have to um, record the try-on tomorrow because I'm losing light. Wah, wah, wah. In magic editing land, you guys are just going to see it in the next clip anyway. I'm the one that has to wait until tomorrow but i want to show you guys the rest of the items that i have um to share with you guys <laughs> angelica but here is this shoe it is just this sock type shoe but it has this open toe in the front and it is this um pleather type of material it's really soft on the inside though so that's nice um it doesn't have that large of a heel maybe just two and a half me three inches um uh, tall so yeah not that bad i don't think i've tried these shoes on yet so i can't wait to see how they look on my feet up next these are my favorite shoes so far that i bought from Shein. i have worn these several times they go with pretty much everything and so i really really love these and i probably should haul these last video because i've been wearing these not non-stop but i have every almost every time we've left the house in the last like month i've worn these shoes because they are just awesome they are these sock boots and um they don't really have a heel maybe just an inch um on them but just enough to give you like you know some movement if you know what i mean and uh, um, yeah, I really really like these these are amazing and they feel great on they look great on and it is something That's really inspired me to get into this type of fashion this like sock type boots I never would have thought that they were that awesome, but they really fucking are in fact the first time I tried these Babyface was like, okay put your shoes on aren't you gonna put shoes on I was like, I already have my shoes on. He's like what I didn't think those were shoes. I thought those were nylons and I was like 
gotcha. But yeah, I really, 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 really love these boots and would recommend them 100%. If you don't listen to any of my recommendations ever, ever, ever in life, um, uh, this is something that you should listen to me about. These boots are amazing and I would recommend these a million percent. There's not a lot that I would give my million percent stamp of approval on, but these boots have it. So there you go. I will still link them. I think they were out of stock, but stuff comes back into stock. So I'll link them still. Love these. All right, you guys, it looks like I lost light for today. So woo, this is going to have to wait till tomorrow. Like I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, my lovely little foxies. I just finished part one of my Shein haul video. I'm going to film part two um, tomorrow. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> um, but I started to lose the light. So yeah, that's how it looks right now. I'm just going to wait for tomorrow's sunlight. Baby face is uh, waiting to molest me. I'm going to molest you. I'm going to kiss you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> How much? So much. Good. Don't turn off the ring light. Even though you make me In record myself from my <clears throat> bad side. <laughs> Hello, my little little foxies. It is the next morning. As you can see, I have kind of put them together. Not necessarily how I would style them, but like what would go with what, like with what was in this haul. I think there are a lot of cute things in this haul that go together. So, or at least kind of go together enough to where we can get like a vibe. You know what I mean? And we can find inspiration for future outfits because I'm planning on doing like a few lookbooks in the future, and I'm really, really excited about that. Also, um, the reason I'm buying so much stuff in the first place is because I'm trying to find my wardrobe for my like music videos and stuff and uh, my album concepts and so uh, I am uh, just sharing it with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the journey and maybe if you find something that you like you can get it too and we can twin <laughs> the first item that I'm gonna be trying on is this cute skirt and I think it actually is gonna go pretty cute with what I have on already that's perfect didn't even plan that Wow, look at this, genius. Buttons, my mortal enemy. Ooh, okay, let's see. This is actually pretty cute. Oh my god. Love the accidental match. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not perfect. I'm really, really glad that it fits and that it is this cute. Let me take this thing off so you guys can get a full view of what we're working with. Here's the back. I really like this. If you guys are a fan of high-waisted items, then this is a winner in my mind. I think I got an extra small in this item. Um, uh, any items that is available in the extra small, I try to get that um, because it definitely does fit me better just because I feel like they do kind of um, run big on a Shein. So that's just my experience. And I don't, I'm not like a super small, super small girl, like around the midsection or anything. So like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm, I'm normally a size small, like, but as she am an extra small. All right, enough uh, um, exposition about this skirt. Let's get a top on, huh? Okay, you guys. So this is the shirt that I chose to try on with this first. I really like this shirt. I think it's really comfortable and it's the right amount of soft. It's enough soft um, for me. So I really like this shirt. What would you guys rate this outfit or the pieces? I think I would rate this skirt out of five, a five. Like this is exactly what I wanted and I'm really, really happy about receiving it as I envisioned it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really happy about that because not every single time you order something on Shein does it come exactly like what you thought it would. <laughs> but this definitely did and I'm glad. Can you guys tell that I'm glad? I like that it's not too tight in the armpit area. I know that not everyone will appreciate how sheer it is. I'm not really self-conscious. I'm not a self-conscious person at all. So I don't think it would stop me. I don't think I would not wear this anywhere. I think I'd wear this anywhere. But um, uh, for some other people that might be self-conscious, you know. But for me, I really like it. So my personal rating is a five. That is his opinion. Pretty harsh in my opinion, but it is what it is. So that's that's what he thinks. <laughs> I guess I could try some shoes on at this point because, you know, I have them in this haul. There are also two other items that I forgot to show you guys last night. I guess I could show you guys those real quick. Those two items were accessories. They were this hat and uh, these earmuffs. And um, I think they're really cute. I like the shape, honestly. It's a little bit big, but... Like, in the photos, I don't think it's that bad. I don't know if you guys can see. This hat is felt. <laughs> so, when it came, it was, like, crushed. But, I mean, it did take back its form. Obviously, it, the shape came back, bounced back. But, I don't know. It is, like, a really, really cheap material. But, I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen a felt hat like this. So, I don't hate it. It is what it is. I, I think it would help, like, you know, the rain stay off of your head. 
So if that's what you're using it for, maybe this hat's for you. How water resistant is felt? I'm pretty sure it just slicks right off, right? I don't know, I'm not an expert. Up next are these cute little earmuffs. Oh my God, they're so cute. These are even better than I thought they were going to be. Oh my God, these are so adorable. I kind of wish they had gotten here early. Well, I guess they did get here earlier. I just um didn't do the unboxing. I'm really, really excited about these earmuffs. Oh, they're so cute and fluffy. Let's ask Baby Face what he thinks. They really are warming my ears. I love that for me. It's cold in here, you guys. So nice and toasty. Love it. Anyway, oh, I'm so excited about this. I didn't think I was really going to like this. Honestly, I thought it was just a gag. But I'm in love with these all of a sudden. And I wish I got more. I don't know if they're still selling these because winter's almost out. But um, if they are, I'm going to look for more earmuffs. These are so cute. I did order another pair of earmuffs. They were so cute. I'll put them up here. Um, but they didn't come. They didn't send them to me. So that was really, really sad. <laughs> yeah, I was missing from my order. Sometimes that happens, but... I don't know. I order a lot, and so I guess my, like, ratio is not, like, very high with how many items they miss, and I always get a refund, so I don't know. If they take care of it, I can't really complain. Like, Bath & Body Works, I have a lot of issues with my orders with them a lot, but they always take care of it, so there's only so much you can complain about it, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's how I feel about these earmuffs. So I'm not sure these boots are going to go with everything I'm about to wear, but I'm going to put them on anyway, and uh, I'm going to put these socks on under them. They're really, really thin. They're a lot thinner than what you think, what they look like. They were from Amazon, not from the Shein haul, but I mean, I have to put something on under the boots. <laughs> All right, you guys, here are the pair of boots off of my feet. Okay, you guys, here are the boots. Ta-da! Maybe if I close this door, you guys can see better. What do you guys think of these boots? I can't really see. Let's see. Okay, interesting. Interesting choice with this outfit. I don't hate it. I don't love it. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's cute. It'll work, you know? I, I might wear this together. Um, uh, but not my first choice, you know? Let's see what their face thinks. So, Babyface said he would rate these boots a 4. Um, I think I would rate these boots a 4.5. They are really, really great. They do have a little bit of snipness in the back. And um, if I wear them for a very, 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 very long time, then my toes start to get pinched a little bit. Not like pinched, but like it's kind of narrow. And my foot is a little bit wider than the shoes, kind of, in, a, in one of the spots. So there's that. But in general, I think the shoes are really great. They are really comfortable, and I've worn them several times, and I really, really like these boots. Um, so, yeah. I would rate them pretty high, 4.5 though, because like I said, they aren't perfect, but I do like them. So I would recommend, huh? Let's move on to the next skirt. The next skirt I'm gonna be trying on is this color block skirt. Um, oof. This skirt has a zipper in the back and a hook and eye feature to keep it clasped <laughs> and together. This is so cute. Oh my god, you guys. So I love this skirt. I don't know if you guys saw my reaction just then, but this skirt is so cute, you guys. Oh my god, I love it. And with these boots, I think it really works too. And I think this outfit is actually like a look. Like I feel like I would wear this look and just pair some like jewelry with it and it would be good to go. I really like this. It feels really, really nice and comfortable and this is not stiff at all. And uh, it's just, oh, I love this. Yes. Okay. So this skirt, I would give a 4.8. I don't know. I don't know why it's like hard for me to give a five, but a 4.8 for this just, no, I think, you know what? I'm going to give it a five because it is exactly what I thought it was going to look like, um, uh, compared to the picture. And it is just really comfortable and cute. And I think it was a really fair price. So I would give this a five. Yes. Love that. I think I've given two fives already this haul. So this is a really good haul already. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so excited. Let's see what baby face thinks. What do I always need to bend? Oh my god. A four? I guess that's, that's good. I don't know if you guys heard that the baby face would rate this a four, which is pretty high for him. So, yeah. Pretty good skirt. I love it. All right. Now we can move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, this is what the skirt looks like. I really like this. This is, again, a very, like, 70s vibe. And I've just really been feeling that like era especially like i don't know i've been really vibing with the music lately i've been really really inspired by that decade and not just that decade but i guess that like time period like 30 years surrounding it i guess and like i don't know i just i love it i love it <laughs> i just i really love the way it feels it's again a nice soft fabric and not um hard at all and so it kind of moves with you um and yeah shapes you a little bit and I like the detailing. I love... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not even wearing it right, you guys. Why didn't you tell me? Ugh. 
Anyway, this is what the skirt looks like, okay? With the fucking zipper detailing. The zippers work, but there is no pocket, which is fine. I think it's kind of a cool detail that even to even just have, I guess, I don't know, I guess why wouldn't they work, right? But, I don't know. I really, really do um, like this skirt, like I said already. And I would give this skirt a 4.5, again, because I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these items. And... I don't know, they're fitting me a lot better than I thought they were going to. These clothes are surpassing my expectations. Duh, that is what I would say about this skirt. Let's go see what Bayface says. So Bayface can't get over the fact that these zippers don't lead to real pockets. And he said that because of that, he's going to rate it like a 2. However, if the pockets were real, he would have rated it a 3.5. That is so harsh, don't you guys think? Especially since the pockets aren't even for him, right? Like, I don't know. Anyway, I wouldn't use the pockets even if they were real. So, I don't know. This cute little... You guys hear baby face? I'll let them figure that out real quick. <laughs> Is someone ruining mommy's shot? Somebody, like, ruining shit out Yeah. So, so, up next, we have this uh, silver slash gray shirt. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, this on. So this shirt is more cropped than that, or is it? I don't know. I can't tell really. Maybe it's not. It's just, okay, so this hem rolls up actually, and so that's interesting. Okay. So I really like this top. I think it I think it goes with this outfit, but just not as good as the last shirt does. It's a little bit sheer. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do like this shirt. Let's try it on with a different skirt which is what I always intended to do anyway. Okay, so something about this one skirt is this zipper keeps flipping and it's just like sticking out. And I don't like that. I don't know if that's me, what, if that's something I did, or if the zipper's just broken, or what's going on here, but that's annoying me. All right, you guys, we're going to switch out of this skirt and into this skirt. I actually don't know if this is going to be like the best skirt to wear with this top. I think maybe um, the last top would go better with this skirt that I'm about to try on, but we can always try it. <laughs> we can always try that in another so video. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. <laughs> you like that jiggle? I thought I broke it for a second. Okay. Yeah, again, I don't necessarily think this was the right um, outfit to put together. It is, it's softer than I thought it was and less firm than I thought it was going to be, which is really nice. I like the shape of it. I think it's really, really cute. I think I would rate this top a three and a half. It's not one of my favorites, but it is you know what it is it's not maybe just because of the way i outfitted it it just doesn't like flow so maybe that's ruining the mood i have for it but i do like it so i'll give it a 3.5 no let's give it a 3.7 this 3.5 is a little sounds a little harsh to me but um this skirt i will give a 3.25 because it's not as cool and perfect as the last skirts because the um color blocking doesn't go all the way around but at the same time i still think it's really cute and fun and maybe if i you know find a way to match these better i will rate them higher i guess you guys are just gonna have to wait and see how i put these together how i make outfits with them in the future those are future videos so Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> now it's Babyface's turn. Mm, what? 2.25? So Babyface said that if it went all the way around, he would also give it a higher rating, but his rating is so much lower than mine. His rating is 2.25, that's so crazy. And for the shirt, um, the shirt he didn't even notice that I switched out. He said he'd rate it the same as the other shirt because he didn't notice, but I don't remember what he said for the other shirt. And I don't like it as much as the other shirt. And I don't think it is the same as the other shirt. <laughs> anyway, let's change into the next thing, shall we? The next thing I want to change into is this cute little plaid skirt. So let's do it. Okay, here we go. This is cute. What do you guys think? Very Slytherin. This skirt is even cuter than I thought it was going to be, honestly. I really, really like it. So cute. It's longer than my fingers, so I feel like you could wear this at a prep school. It's not that short, right? So is it, like, authentic enough? Or is it still, like, schoolgirl-esque but not quite there because obviously it's way too short for a real schoolgirl. I don't know. I feel like it's long enough. I feel like I definitely would have been able to wear this at that public school I went to for a year. Yeah, I could. This is so cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to rate this. Uh, I'm so conflicted about it. I don't know. It could be a little bit shorter, but at the same time, like it's really, really cute. So I think I'm going to give this a 4.5 because I think it's pretty much everything that I thought it was going to be. It matches the picture, it's the same kind of fabric I expected, and it's pretty good quality for what I paid. So I would give it a 4.5. Not quite perfect, but pretty much perfect. You know, that's pretty much my perfect score at this point because I really don't get vibes. I like it. Let's see what Babyface thinks. Oh, 
interesting. Okay. A cool belt? Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. Well, we do have this belt that we could try on with it. I'm not sure if it'll go with this, but let's try, shall we? <laughs> okay, so I added this belt and I kind of tucked this in a little bit. Let's see what Babyface thinks of this. <laughs> Four and a quarter. 4.25. He said he really liked this outfit, so it's interesting because this is not my favorite outfit, but interesting. If I was styled by baby face, this is what I look like. <laughs> All right, so I have this sheer, um, uh, I almost said skirt, shirt up next. So I'm going to have to try this on first for Patreon and then with you guys because I'm going to have to try to put something under it. <laughs> So Babyface saw this shirt. Uh, I think I'm just going to go like this. Okay, guys, so um, off of Patreon, this is the way that you guys are going to see this. On Patreon, they saw this without my hands in the way, but I really like this. It is so, so, so cute, you guys. Oh, my God. I love this outfit, and Babyface loves it, too. He said he would give this outfit a 4.75. That's even higher than my rating. So I really like it. He really likes this shirt, and I think he actually rated this outfit a 4.5 and this shirt a 4.75. So he really likes this shirt, and I really like it too. If you guys want to see what it looks like without my hands in the way, uh, then you can go to Patreon and see what it looks like. It's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. Let's go to the next item. Wow, why is that so fun for me? <laughs> That's why guys like this. It is fun. <laughs> the next item I want to try on is this skirt. It is a skirt that didn't have anything on the side. I'm going to try it on with this shirt again, just because I'm living life on the wild side, I guess. Here we go. Let's change, shall we? So I'm not feeling this together at all. So I think I'm just going to change my shirt right now. I'm not even going to try to rig it together because it's not cute at all together. <laughs> so let's change into the next item. Ooh, this is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> is this supposed to be folded? Like that. That's kind of cuter. Kind of. Let's see. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. You guys let me know. <laughs> All right. So here is that. That's kind of cute. I kind of like, maybe without this, like, chain thing, it would look cuter. I'm not sure. But here it is untucked. Um, oh, it's like flat. Okay, here we go. So here it is untucked. And here's the side of the skirt. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly, but... It is still kind of bad. I'm going to try to tuck this shirt in now, though. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, so this is better. That's better. It's not perfect. It's better. I don't know how I feel about this turtleneck situation. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing it wrong, and I feel like there's a condom on my fucking neck. Is it just supposed to be like... Is it supposed to be like this or something? Like, what? what is the point? Of it being so long, I don't understand. I really just don't get it. Does it, is this fashion? Am I missing something? Is this, is this fashion? I don't know. It is, again, a little bit sheer. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is. It's got these really cute bell sleeves. I really like the sleeves. These shoulders are kind of weird. They're a little, they're like loose. And it's like weird. It's a weird fit. So, and it's like kind of tight right here, but then loose. I don't know. It's really kind of weird. It's a weird fit. Not my fave, but I don't hate it. I just, I need to figure out how to wear the turtleneck. I just need to figure it out. And the skirt, I don't know. I have a mixed feeling because when I look at it in the mirror, it's not that bad. But when I look at it in the viewfinder, it's not that good. So I just don't know. I really think it's this tacky, like, chain thing. I don't know. I really thought I was ordering a different skirt. and But when I looked at my order, this was the skirt I had ordered. So it is what it is. Lesson learned. I think I'm going to rate this skirt like a 1.25. And this top I'm going to rate as like a 2.75 because I just feel like I want to rate it lower, but like I still kind of like it. I still need to figure it out, but it's just like, it's really not perfect at all. So I don't know. I'm really, really conflicted about it, but that's just how I feel about it. That's my opinion right now. But uh, that's just one woman's opinion. Let's check to see a man's opinion, shall we? Let's check to see the face's opinion on this. I know, it's really bad. It's like 
not even wearable. <laughs> I know. Unless you're wearing like leggings or something underneath, maybe. I don't know what the point of it is. <laughs> I honestly think it's like where you can wear leggings underneath it. I don't know. I don't know. You guys heard that. I, I know you guys heard that. So, yeah, that's how we feel. I'm gonna put this skirt on next. This is my birthday skirt. I think this is the only skirt that I can, like, match with this fucking turtleneck in any fucking fashion. So, let's see. Huh? <gasps> okay. Alright, you guys. So, let me tuck this in a little bit. Here is this outfit. I don't hate this as much as I hated the last one. I think this pink goes more with this, like, hollow vibe because it's, like, in the hollow um, gradient, the shift, the color shift. So, I feel like it matches more. It makes more sense with this. But I still don't... It's still not cohesive. It's still not, like, a great look or anything. I obviously love this skirt. I'm going to give this skirt a 4.5. This is not the most wearable skirt in the world because every time you sit or whatever, um, it does crease and it leaves a mark in your skirt that, you know, you're just kind of walking around with. And it's not the most flattering, you know. It just kind of looks messy. So that kind of sucks. But uh, if you are somewhere warm or, like, if you're going to Disneyland or something and it's, like, you know, kind of hot and muggy outside or whatever, like, it's humid, then I feel like this skirt will be fine because it'll just, you know... Like, it'll fucking steam itself, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, that is how I feel about this skirt. I really do like this skirt, though. So, I don't know. I think that's pretty fair, actually. So, that is his reading. Those are his thoughts. Those are his opinions. Huh? Get out of this shirt and into this shirt. Next. Alright, you guys. So, this is the next shirt. It has this ability to rouge and it's really really cute you could wear it a whole bunch of different ways it's super versatile and i think it is um like a really great fabric choice for this design and pattern cuts so i think it's really really cool i really like this shirt a lot there's a lot of different ways you could wear it like i said and so because of that i'm going to give this shirt a five that's a really really rare rating but i feel like it's deserved because it's just I really love how versatile this shirt is and I just I like it I like it a lot I think it's really cute and comfortable and I just like wearing it and when I can like wearing clothes like that's a plus for me because I generally hate wearing clothes I like you know being cute but I just I don't like clothes generally I have to wear them um, but I really like this and it makes me want to wear clothes <laughs> so yeah it's a little sheer obviously you guys can see um, uh, it is a little see-through but if you don't care then it's not a big deal. If you do care, I don't know. That's your life, not my life. I'm sorry, maybe wear pasties or something. I don't know how do you live <laughs> because I don't care. So let's go ahead and pair this with the skirt. Did I already wear this skirt? I feel like I already wore this. Oh, no, no, no. All right, so uh, this skirt with this shirt, I think it's pretty cute. The button detailing is the only thing that makes me feel like this isn't the perfect outfit because like there's a lot going on in this vertical <laughs> line here. But I still think it's cute. Like for example, if it was just a plain flat skirt like this, oh I guess it's not pleated on. Oh yeah, it's not pleated in the back or the front. Interesting. Okay. So but I, if it was just like a plain skirt in the front, but obviously it's not that. So I don't know. I would definitely wear this skirt with something a little bit different. But I still think it's really cute. Definitely, Anna. In a pinch, I guess I'd wear this together, but it wouldn't be my first choice. But, yeah, what do you guys think of this? Um, I would give this skirt a 3.5 rating. It is, uh, um, it's, it's adequate. <laughs> you know, it's good enough. But there are a couple of details that I'm not super fond of. The pleating is only from here down. It's not the full skirt, and it doesn't go all the way around. Which some people like, some people don't. Um, and uh, it's just like a, the angle is not exactly as... Um, it needs to either be more poofy or less poofy, um, you know what I mean? But generally speaking, it's cute, so 3.5 is what I'll give it. Let's find out what Babyface would give it. Okay. So, not as uh, uh, nice as my rating, but basically, like, all on the same lines, I think. I'm going to try this on with this shirt. So let's do that. Ooh, this skirt is not, like, it's so rigid, so you have to button a lot of the buttons. Okay. Again, too many strings going on in the front for this outfit. I really should change my top. Okay, I'm going to change my top. All right, you guys, I'm going to put this gingham top on next. It is not the perfect pair for this, but whatever. <laughs> At least it's a different item in the haul, right? Ooh, cute. Okay, so independently, this is really, really cute. But together, um, not so cute. But it is what it is. I mean, I kind of do vibe with it because they're both black and white. And it's kind of like, it's clashing. But, like, I feel like 
it's a purposeful type of clash. I don't know. I don't. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, actually, I kind of feel this. This is kind of cute. It's kind of a vibe, but at the same time, it's like obviously not you know what i'm saying so i don't know i'm so conflicted about this what would you guys rate these items this top i think is really cute it's exactly what i thought it should be according to the picture so i'm gonna rate this a 4.5 and uh, this skirt is the same exactly like what i thought it would be according to the picture so also a 4.5 i really like both of these items and i think they are cute and they fit really well um they're really comfortable yeah, I feel like this skirt, though, would ride up a lot. So when you are out in public and you need to be sitting down, make sure that you have something that you can put over your legs, which is a hat for you guys if you guys don't know how to wear skirts um, in public, if you guys don't know how to wear mini skirts or whatever without flashing. Um, a hat that I always have and a reason why you guys always see me carrying something like this is to always carry a sweater or a jacket or something um, uh, around with you so that if you are sitting down and wearing something that you want to cover, you can just put it over your knees and voila, perfect. So now you can wear whatever the fuck you want when you're standing up and while you're sitting down, you're also covered. There you go, and there's your tip for today. <laughs> All right, you guys, my phone died. I'm not exactly sure what I was saying about this other than Babyface and I rated, or Babyface rated this top a three and this bottom a three. And I think we're about to change, so let's do that. I am gonna go ahead and switch out this skirt with this other athletic skirt. This is a more flouncy skirt than this one. This is more straight. This has pockets though, love that. <laughs> this is cute. I really like how fluffy it is and flouncy. Ooh. <laughs> it is really cute. This kind of reminds me of Adidas with the double stripes, but yeah, I like it. And I don't hate it with this gingham top actually. Like I don't hate it, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna rate this skirt a 3.5. Let's see what baby face would rate it. <laughs> So baby face skirt, <laughs> baby face skirt. So baby face likes this skirt just a little bit better than the last one. He said he'd rate this one at 3.5 compared to the three he gave the last skirt. So that's pretty good. That's an improvement. So I think this is the last skirt that I have actually to wear. I didn't really plan that very well. But <laughs> I, I just have a few more shirts to try on with you guys. And actually I have these leggings. <clears throat> Why am I so cold? <laughs> kind of hard to get up. <laughs> guys so this is what this looks like on it is um really really comfortable i really like this it kind of feels weird honestly on the butt though i don't know i don't think i wore it the wrong way i'm pretty sure i wore it the right way but they it feels a little weird on the back but i feel like you get used to that you wouldn't really i mean i don't know i feel like you get over it really fast they're so so soft and comfortable all right so i want to try this on with this is going to look really funny. I'm just going to go ahead and try all the rest of the tops that I have on with these bottoms. So let's do that. <laughs> all right, you guys. So here is this top. It is see-through, so I'm not going to, you know, uncover myself in the front um, on YouTube. But if you want to look what it looks like on Patreon, I'm about to show you. This is what it looks like. This feels kind of weird. I'm not really sure what's going on here with this collar. It's like loose. It's loose. I don't think you're supposed to, I don't know. I guess it's just like a cowl turtleneck i don't know anyway um and it's like also it it also doesn't really sit very well on my body and also you guys can see the wingspan which is not always a bad thing but it's just not i don't know the shape is not there it's not tight enough um on the body um but yeah this is the shirt i don't know i don't know how i would wear this i guess we're gonna have to see in the future how i end up styling this shirt but yeah that's this one <laughs> All right, you guys, up next we have this shirt. Um, it is a lot thicker, like I told you guys before, than what I thought it would be as far as the material. So I haven't tried this on at all. We're going to have to see. It's kind of hard right here um, on the sides. Like, it's not the easiest thing to get into. So I know it's not going to be the easiest thing to get out of, which is amazing. I love that. Um, always a great sign when you can't get in and out of your clothes easily. That's always a fun time. It's so structured. I don't know about this one, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so I got the buttons on by myself. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. But, you guys, I don't know. Oh, no. What do you guys think of this? It doesn't fit well at all. 
Uh, don't like. And it's got that stuff on the shoulders again. Yeah, I don't know about this one, you guys. It's got this weird fabric right here. The way that it's connected is really, really weird. It's too low. It looks like I'm wearing it backwards, and it feels like I'm wearing it backwards, but I promise you, I'm not wearing it backwards. Now, like, am I? No, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm not wearing this backwards, um, but it feels like it. Oh no, you guys, this is a fail. This is the largest fail I think we've had so far with Shein. Um, it's just not, it's, it's not comfortable, it's really restrictive, and it's got weird, it's just connected weird, I don't like it. So I'm gonna give this a, a zero, honestly. I don't, I really don't like it. Let's see what Babyface thinks. He tugged it down and he says it looks better that way, but you guys, I cannot even move. I can't, I literally can't move my arms past this. Like, I can't move them any higher. It's, yeah, I don't like this. I'm so sad about it. Oh, I'm so sad about it. <sighs> All right, you guys, up next, I think I'm gonna wear this over what I'm wearing right now since it's nude. Um, And it's just to show you guys how bad this next item was when I received it. <laughs> I was thinking about like not even trying this on because it's like so bad, but. Okay. All right, you guys. So this is the item. If I pull it out like this, there's a lot of like space right there, you see. And if I pull it up all the way like that, okay. So like what, I'm supposed to do it like that? No, I'm not. So it's supposed to be down here like that. But then if you pull it like that, you see? <laughs> Obviously, this is not, this was not right. <laughs> All right, you guys, so there are two more items that I'm really, really excited about. There are these sweaters. I can't wait to try these on, and I'm going to pick one of these to wear for the rest of the day. Um, it's the Be Kind sweater and just the regular beige sweater. I'm going to try this one on first, so pause for YouTube and Patreon. Keep watching. <laughs> oh, my God, I love how soft this is. And it's got this weird neck again, but it's not, it's not as bad. Actually, I like this. It's like the perfect amount of neck sleeve. <laughs> oh, and it's kind of cropped. Oh my God, I love this. This would be really, really cute with another skirt. Let me put something else on. Let's see. Let's try it with this skirt. Why not, right? So cute. I love that. This is so cute. You guys. Uh, love it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys these shoes. Okay, so let me show you. Let me try this on with these shoes, even though I know it's not going to match at all. It's okay. <laughs> we will survive. So they're these shoes. Okay, you guys, so this is how these look. I don't know if you guys can see them. Let me move back. All right, you guys, so this is what these shoes look like. They are cute enough. Um, they're not the most comfortable shoes that I've gotten from Shein. Um, I don't know, I, would, I don't know that I would recommend these shoes, but they are cute, they are what they say they are. They look close enough to the picture, but they still aren't exactly, they weren't 100% like the picture, you know? So I don't know, definitely, I think I'd rate that a like three, three for these shoes. And then I think I'd rate this top a four, 4.5, 4.5 for this top. Let's see what Big Face thinks. So uh, Babyface had qualms about how the bottom of this hem rolled up, which I didn't even notice while I was wearing it, but he's right. It does roll up at the bottom, and uh, um, I don't really mind that, but it is a factor. So he gave the top a rating of three for being basic, and, and he rated the shoes just on looks alone a 3.5 to 4. So that's his rating. And then the next thing that I'm going to try on is this sweater that says be kind and it's also another really soft one so i'm really excited about that it's not like the cutest sweater as in like just for aesthetics like this is kind of awkward the way it's cut as far as if you just care about the way it looks but it's really really comfy cozy and i really like it and it's really soft so i would rate this item a three point no a 4.5 i'd rate this item a 4.5 let's see what baby thinks about this sweater Babyface rated this item a cozy four, whatever that means. Um, I mean, it is cozy, so self-explanatory, but I do love this. I think this is what I'm going to end up keeping on for the rest of the day. I'm, I'm going to take these shoes off for sure right now, though. Well, congratulations, my lovely little foxies, because you have made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely little foxies. If you could take a second to like this video, and if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and it makes my day, so thank you so much for doing it. 
I love that. I appreciate you for that. And I hope you love me for loving you. And we can just love each other forever, okay? <laughs> Be kind to yourselves and others, my lovely little foxies, and stay foxy. Until the next video. <laughs>